Hey, speaking of comedy, we got uh, some audio of Club Soda Kenny doing stand-up at the Cringe Humor Show. That happened a couple weeks ago. Good. And I hear he killed on stage, so. Did he? What are you laughing at? Club Soda Kenny. Oh. It's Kenny. Why? No, I, I missed something. Yeah, he, he killed. Oh, you thought I was laughing at Bill's sandwich? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know what you were. Uh, that's fine. I just looked at it wow. and would laugh and noticed it looks good. <laughs> no, all of a sudden I wouldn't take a bite. Like, <laughs> I know. What was... Like you guys fucking did so. No, so I, I was confused, that's all. Hazing. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, so it's uh, uh, Club Soda Candy at the Cringe Humor Show. Let's take a little listen here. All right, coming to the stage is a man you'll hear on the Opie and Anthony show almost every day. Put your hands together for Mr. Club Soda Candy. Every day. Every day. I love the people that uh, use this show as their uh, credits. Every day? Hear, hear them on the show almost every day? There what? are advertisements uh, for comedians and stuff in, in local papers, or you'll hear a commercial on uh, a radio mm. show or something, yeah. and, and they'll... Their credit is that they're regular on our show, and, and I don't even know the guy's name. I'm like, that's maybe we had bad. him on like one time, like years ago. And that's your fucking credit. I know, but it's strange. You have to I like exaggerate to any credit you have. Yeah, yeah any was... credit you read or see uh, for a comic is so exaggerated. <laughs> uh, there are some that you see, you know, as seen on the Tonight Show, and they mean with Carson, like it was that oh. long ago. You know, yeah, once I, I like the guys who. Who they they'll say this guy has written for the Tonight Show and all it means is that he submitted jokes, jokes. that they've turned down. <laughs> <laughs> just, seriously, they just he just writes them in and they oh. never use them. I wrote for the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best example of that is Bob Gullub, who's a comic friend of ours, still says in his intro was seen in Goodfellas. Are you kidding? You know Bob Gullub. Yeah. Here's Bob Gullub in Goodfellas. Hey, you got a phone? Two niggers just stole my truck. Yeah, that guy. That's Bob Gullaby. He's in a stand-up comic in the diner, and he and he and, and he was on screen for what five seconds? Or did he, he have more? Slow it down. Yeah, we really? Really, yeah, it was really just a quick one line. It was a funny line, and uh, but that, he's that in his credits. Well, yeah. what's his name from uh, uh, Scarface? What's Angel that? Salazar. Yeah, he had a real part though. At least yeah. Angel had a real part in that. Yeah, but this way. to still use it. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> he had. He actually had his character had a name. Yeah, that's another big one. <laughs> it's big if your yeah, character yeah. had a name. Yeah, Guy yeah. driving truck. You're not just <laughs> surly yeah. truck driver. <laughs> that's how you know you're nobody when you're named after your job. Yeah. <laughs> Guy who? <laughs> <laughs> Guy with mop. <laughs> <laughs> Worse to be guy with mop number two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Second guy. Guy who caused mess that mop man needed to clean up <laughs> as I slink out. <laughs> right, let's number listen. four. Let's listen to Kenny. <laughs> wow. Big intro. Exactly. Is he walking still on driving a from Jersey? <laughs> 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 You only wanted me to talk for five minutes, so why are you playing the music so long? Ah, he, he addressed it. Not in a very funny way. <laughs> I want to thank Patrick for inviting me down. It's the holiday season. Is everybody enjoying the show so far? Well, that'll change drastically now. In case anybody doesn't know it, I'm married. And let me tell you, I'd rather eat my own shit than be married. So my wife is always telling me I don't spend enough quality time with her. So I tied up her hands and feet and I jerked off on her nose. I like it. And then I pistol whipped her and fucked her in the ass. That guy, yeah. Normally I don't bother with my wife. I usually just jerk off on her pillow just to let her know I'm around. All right, hold on. There's a theme here. This is killing? Yeah. Who said killing? I heard Here's Club Soda Kenny. Here's Club Soda Kenny did some stand-up, and I heard he killed. Here's the uh, review. Club Soda Kenny and own a show crony and Meet the Creeps legend stopped by the December Cringe Humor Show and proceeded to violate everyone in the audience, building out rape and pedophile joke one after another. Kenny's performance will go down as one of the most cringeworthy sets in show history. Uh, that uh, cringeworthy does not mean kill. Yes, it does. This guy is a regular on the show, and when he goes on stage, he kills. <laughs> <laughs> he is not killing. Well, let's listen further here. Can they pick up? That's because the last time my wife said yes to me is when I proposed. That should be a setup, Kenny. My wife is always telling me that I'm not romantic. So to get back at her, I fucked her dog. 
<laughs> I'm not gay or nothing. It was a female dog. It didn't even make sense. And I know what you're thinking. Like, I could have fucked her best friend to get even with her, but believe me, the dog was the better choice. And recently, I asked my wife to get her belly button pierced. This way, I would have some place to hang an air freshener. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's getting you get it? Her cunt stinks. <laughs> 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 How does he go home after this set? Uh, well, he probably figured it wouldn't be played on a national radio show. Yeah, that's true. You used to be safe, you know. Regular radio can't play this. No. Uh, Club Soda Kenny. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Hi, Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Hello, everybody. We're in the middle of critiquing your set. Well, I, I can't understand the unwarranted attention. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you had a wild set down there. Well, you know, it was the holiday season, so I thought I'd give everybody a treat. Wow, you are uh, pretty rank, pretty raw. But, you know, overall it wasn't bad. Like, the life stuff went over pretty good. But once I started with the rape and the pedophile stuff, then it was downhill from there. Yeah. Well, we surprising. Got, we got more of your stand-up, so <laughs> you, you guys want to hear it? or Do I? Uh, yeah? Yeah. All right, hold on there, Kenny. I want okay. this on CD. Before my wife, I was engaged to a girl with a wooden leg, but I broke it off. <laughs> That's clean. And you know what else is annoying? The only time my wife stops talking is when her mother starts. But I guess I really shouldn't <laughs> complain about my wow. wife. She really is the perfect woman. I mean, what other wife would lick your asshole while you fuck her mother? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that guy just go, oh! He recoiled. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all giving you a chance. They want to like you. And I like how they didn't give him anything on that first mother-in-law joke. Right. It was like from 1955, <laughs> Honeymooners <laughs> joke. Yeah, the mother-in-law. Yeah. The old battle axe <laughs> came over last night. <laughs> This guy writes for Henny Youngman. Yeah. yeah. Next guy coming to the stage. He sounds a little bit like Rupert Pumpkin in his... Uh... Rupert Pumpkin. <laughs> Take my wife's cunt, please. He's got that same delivery as Rupert. Ma! <laughs> and I know I'm a bad husband because I cheat on my wife. Like one time I met this girl and she was so horny, all she wanted to do was fuck... And then I found out her nickname was Robocunt. <laughs> and then last night I met this Filipino girl. But by the end of the night, she wasn't Filipino. She was full of penis. I Holy filled her belly button up with so much cum that it sank. I turned her what? pussy into a Snickers bar. It was packed with penis. Oh, my God, I got oh man. Kenny? I got flop sweat. You, I like how your set has a dynamic. It yeah. has its highs and its low point. Like uh, you started out, people were not not like uh, laughing or applauding, but they were reacting. Right. Now you've reached that point in the dynamic where they're just not even acknowledging you're up there. Uh, I, I, I got reaction. You know, I, people got to understand, <clears throat> Susie, I don't do this for a living. I just do it as a goof to entertain my friends. But and, and the audience isn't mic'd. Like, even on the big laughs, you can hear them in the background. Yeah. So the, there probably are some laughs that we're not hearing because the audience isn't mic'd. All right. There's like, there's like 100 people there. Plus the guy, he's walking the line here. This is what happens. Yeah. That's yeah. When you take chances on and that. He's working a little blue. Yeah, you know, just a little, just a tad <laughs> a little blue. I would love to hear Club Soda Kenny do the aristocrats joke. This is PD his version 13. of the aristocrats joke. I yeah. want to see Kenny go up and do these jokes clean. I want to see all the profanity removed. Yeah, all right. that would be a, a very interesting set. Let's get back to the set here. One time, I went out with this girl that worked at the International House of Pancakes, and when she got done with work, I hop on her ass. Kenny's but I'm glad to see material. we got some yeah. good-looking chicks here tonight. I hop? You're a really hot chick. Uh -oh. You're so hot, I bet when you were born, you burnt your mother's pussy hairs coming out. <laughs> and speaking of childbirth, does the clitoris act like a speed bump when the kid is born? 
That was a segue. And she's got big All tits, right. too, in case she didn't say them. He got that. nothing on that one. Well, it doesn't make sense. What, is she giving birth on her head? How, how does that yeah, work? Yeah, why? Do you know the female anatomy, <laughs> Kenny? Oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, the clitoris doesn't... It's the, not in the place where a speed bump would be for a child coming out. Yeah, the baby would bump the front of his forehead. I don't know. It's like a comedy. <laughs> yeah. Something like it, in that it is spoken. Yes, there's a microphone involved. How do you yeah. fix that joke? What if you had her slide down the taint and fall into the asshole? <laughs> like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Free. <laughs> Free. Free advice. Uh, bring it up to the stage. He wrote that. for Club Soda <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Burr, let's give him a big hand. <laughs> uh, let's continue here. I like a chick that comes with standard airbags. You're really hot, too. You look like good eats. I bet you your cunt's so spreadable, it's incredible. You know what also works, what he's doing here? Any slogan from commercials that are 25 or 30 years old, that, that's really going to get the crowd going. So spreadable, it's incredible. Isn't that, what, isn't that some kind of craft product or peanut butter? What? What what used that slogan, uh, K Club Soda? Hey, nobody said I was like topical at current events. Yeah. You know, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> You're like fun. speedy Alka Seltzer, <laughs> lady. Yeah, it's not nice to rape Mother Nature. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I fucked the whole thing. <laughs> I'd like to have a cunt and a smile and keep me company. <laughs> I'm writing this all down. Hold on, I gotta write this down. Holy shit! Oh, she's got ring around the asshole. <laughs> Time to make the goo. <laughs> Oh. Oh. See, see, that's the difference. Oh. You guys are funny. I'm a rapist. He's a rapist. <laughs> You're a rapist. We're all rapists. We're... You like to be a rapist, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, something from this decade, at least. Oh. I personally love the RoboCop joke. Yeah, the RoboCop. <laughs> oh, oh. God, do I wish I could remember more Nick at Night commercials right now. That's all I'm thinking of. <laughs> All I have is you sank my battleship, and I don't know how to make it dirty. <laughs> how do you fit that in? Uh, you sank my cunt. How's that? There you go. I would say that. That's all yours. Take it. That's ah, a freebie. Enjoy. Oh, Spreadable. Oh. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a cunt. <laughs> there we go. I knew there was one in there. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, good stuff, Kenny. Yeah. Well, well let's see uh, now what happens gonna, next here. Now he's going to be middling. <laughs> this one over here looks like my old girlfriend, Chlamydia. And she had a cunt like a catcher's mitt. What, one time when I was fingering her, she was complaining about my ring, and I said, Honey, that's not my ring. That's my wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good one. All right, I'm giving him that one. Do you know what makes me funny? Is it makes it funny. Is he said wristwatch? Yes, yeah. your watch. Wristwatch, <laughs> as opposed to a pocket watch <laughs> that I wear when the covered wagon comes up. Honey, that's my timepiece. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking. I'm like, honey, that's my sundial. <laughs> that's my Stonehenge. This woman wanted to fuck. I didn't even have time to take off my spats. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, spats joke. <laughs> Jesus, Anthony. I'm fingering at the White's Only Water Fountain. But Kenny's getting laughs, though. He's oh, getting he laughs. Oh, he certainly is. Yeah. You know how many hickeys are under this ascot? <laughs> Hey, uh, Tommy can... <laughs> uh, Jimmy just did a spit take. Uh, Tom in Kentucky. Tom. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I got, I got a Kenny joke for you. Yeah. Ho, 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 smelly pussy. Fight <laughs> it out. I'm not going to pay a lot for that pussy. <laughs> Zombie, North Carolina. Hey, he forgot the most important one. Where's the beast? Ah. Yeah, but you got to put it in. Oh, forget Where's it. the beef curtains? <laughs> That's funny. There you go. All right. 
Let's get back to Club Soda Kenny's stand-up. And you know what else? She had stretch marks all over her stomach. But they used to come in handy because when I'd come on her belly, they act like sperm gutters. Oh, they and, and let me <laughs> ask you. <laughs> sperm gutters? I've never heard that. If you come on a chick's belly and she rubs it in on her tits, does that make her marriage material? <laughs> what? Did you ever notice? And you know what else I got to know? <laughs> Is it polite to drop a load on a chick's leg while you eat her ass? <laughs> Is that polite? Because you know my motto, haste makes paste. What? what? A bird in the hand You're right, I'll is get worth to it, two in your bush. <laughs> He's like an old-timey guy. <laughs> He's a Borscht Belt comic. I, I like the way he gets louder as it comes. And then, 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 then punchline. It just yeah. gets really loud at the punchline. Don't be penny wise and cunt foolish. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony in Jersey. A penny saved is a pussy burn. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony in Jersey. Hey, honey, you cunt like a Toyota. Oh, what a feeling. <laughs> 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 Melt in your mouth, not in your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are the commercials? Why can't I remember? Any? What are you writing, Stan? All right. All right. A stitch in time will save you behind. <laughs> uh, Brian in Ohio. Uh, Brian? Yeah, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a uterus? <laughs> <laughs> It goes downstairs. I eat cunt hairs <laughs> <laughs> while I make a slurpity sound. My act is stinky. It's stinky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, leave off the last S for syphilis. That's uh, Chester's liver from Whack Bag. <laughs> My wristwatch. You what are how old are you, you Kenny? Ancient commercial references. That's because that's how old that joke is. Who's got yeah. the best darn pussy in the whole wide world? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Dr. D. Dr. Um, D. Speak softly and carry a big dick. <laughs> ah, Florida. Sean, what's up? Honey, you are finger fucking good. <laughs> Very good. It plumps when you suck it. <laughs> Kenny's <laughs> cock. <laughs> ben in Virginia. Ben. I can't believe I ate the whole tank. <laughs> My pussy has a second name. It's M E Y E R. <laughs> <laughs> plop, plop. Jizz, jizz. <laughs> oh, what a relief it is. Come on, people. Tap, 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 tap. Come on, 1972. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> Very funny, Kenny. It gets much worse. Oh, yeah, we got the third part. This is the, uh, this is where it turns ugly, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, hold on a minute. Uh, Todd has a question. Yes, Todd. <gasps> Todd? What would you do for a Klondike cunt? <laughs> I gave it to us seven times up the ass. <laughs> the uncolon. Uh, Randy from Staten Island. Yo, the best part of waking up is bulges on your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a little dirty, a little dirty. And a little old. I hope you can write real fast, because <laughs> this is A material. Yeah, it's mm. all good stuff for you. All good stuff. No, I know. It's terrific. This yeah. is going to be just as good as Dice's uh, nursery rhymes. This is your thing now, Kenny. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. You want to hear more of this? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a couple more minutes. Drink you semen can... first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Mike on Long Island. 45 malt liquor. Mike? <laughs> oh. Yeah, what's up? Please don't fuck the pussy. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. Oh, okay, Charmin. <laughs> Crazy Kenny, his pussy's insane. 
<laughs> Mr. Nipple. <laughs> ben gave me one. Lego my cunto. <laughs> Why? That's funny. Why did you give me that one? Uh, that was fantastic. That certainly was. Right in front of our eyes. That was fantastic. Time to make the jism. <laughs> Now, now we're starting to bomb. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. All right, we'll go back to Kenny. Now Kenny we know will... when it's time to go back. There yeah. we go. Time to go back to Kenny. Kenny on stage. You know, the other night, my dog kept me up. My dog was barking all night long until I threw a shoe at it. It was a hush puppy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know, I didn't always have a cool job like this. One time I worked at a hospital, but I got fired for throwing the colostomy bags around like water balloons. They didn't seem to mind when I was fucking the old people and the dead people, but the colostomy bags put them over the edge. And ladies, you know what the hardest thing about wearing a colostomy bag is? Back me up. Finding <laughs> shoes to match. <laughs> <laughs> but even though I got fired from the hospital, I still became a gynecologist. Sure. But I got fired from that job, too, because I got caught eating on the job. How many times did he say job? <laughs> yeah, nobody can call me a quitter because I got fired from every job I ever had. And, you know, I usually Wait, don't tell on. this, but since... <laughs> Come on. That was like the clever. That was pretty... Kenny stuck in a clever one. <laughs> yeah, clever one. He totally <laughs> threw the crowd off. <laughs> I know. They were bracing themselves. They're like, <laughs> what? It's got to be something really heinous. Yeah. No? Oh. Hey, uh, Pat from Monarchy wants in. Pat? Hey! Have Mikey eat her ass! <laughs> Adam in Texas. Adam. Hey, have you fucked the whole lately? <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, back to uh, Kenny's uh, stand up here. Be a quitter because I got fired from every job I ever had. And you know, I usually don't tell this, but since it's the holidays and you're a nice crowd. One time I was a production assistant on a set of porno movies, and my job was to hold up the guy's ball sack up and out of the way so the camera could get a nice close-up shot of the dick fucking the pussy. Way to word it. But I got fired from that job also because I kept dropping the balls out of my mouth. <laughs> can, can you pause? I want to congratulate what? you on the, the most horribly worded joke ever. <laughs> It, it actually is not a bad joke, but he actually just tells it without joke form. He just talks it through. So I would go to the job, and I would hold the balls up, but that wasn't part of Jesus, Ken. My job as a production assistant. And he said up twice is to hold them up out of the way, up in front of the camera. Up in front of the camera. He just, he just sort of over-explained it. Yeah. Yes. Hold the balls up so they could see the dick. It was like you were applying for the job again. <laughs> what I did was I held the balls up, so I'm good at that there then. He was testifying. Well, yeah. was Two Jews are meandering into a speakeasy that actually lost its liquor license, but then got it back recently. <laughs> and through a string of legal actions, they wound up owning it, but then they were going to sell it. <laughs> so they're meandering. <laughs> Let's go to Matt in Jersey. Matt? Early to bed, early to rise. Makes me want to come in your eyes. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go, to, let's go to Vegas. Clint? It's raping, Dave, and I helped. Shake and bake. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> Joe in the, with that one. in the big city. Joe? Pardon me. Would you have any Jimmy the Poupon? That's actually not bad. Uh, that's not really as bad as it came off. His delivery stunk. <laughs> right, let's go back to the I stage. could take out my bacon, stick it in your can. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to Kenny on stage. So the other night I'm home watching TV, and I'm Here watching this movie that's got a brutal rape scene. And you know what I don't understand? Why is it every time after a chick gets raped, they always take a hot shower? What are they trying to do, wash away the memories? And is it still considered a date rape if you don't take them to a movie afterwards? And speaking of rape, you know what my fantasy is? To rape a bride. Right in a white dress and everything. I grab them around the throat with a knife, 
I drag him into a bathroom. I bend her over the sink. And like 10 minutes after she said, I do, she did. Can I say, uh, I am actually offended. <laughs> yeah. Brutal. Kenny says, love to fuck that pussy. <laughs> <sighs> wow. I'm, I'm very proud of my closing joke, though. Yeah, the closing joke will do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're getting towards the end. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was fun, though. Uh, <laughs> let's go back to Kenny. <laughs> fun while it lasted. Well, it's, uh... Well, since you like rape jokes so much, how about a few pedophile jokes? <laughs> you know, when my son was a toddler, my wife asked me to give him a bath, so I decided to bathe with him. So while we were bathing, my son asked me, he goes, Daddy, how come your penis is different than mine? And I said, Son, because you don't have a boner. <laughs> listen, Holy, listen what to the moment. silence. Wow. <laughs> listen to the silence. The sounds of silence. I do like that old commercial he used to do, though. Cun, 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 cun. And boy, if that bombed, was Fan going to get called out? But since it didn't, I wrote it. <laughs> listen to the silence again. And I said, son, because you don't have a boner. Because you know how you can make your dick look really big? You put it in a five-year-old's hand. And of course, everybody knows what you do when you're done fucking a bald pussy. You put the diaper back on. Yeah. Don't yeah, say what, what, yeah, yeah and what, clapped. One friend. Now that I accomplished what I had to do with all the groans, I'll leave you with this. All right? You seem like a smart crowd. Is it the slick back? What's the difference... Between a clever midget and a girl with a venereal disease. Uh, One's a cunning runt. <laughs> Thank you. You've been a good crowd. Enjoy the holidays. Good night. <clears throat> Do you know? Club Soda Kenny, everybody. Show him some love. Show him some love. Show him some love. <laughs> Show him some love. Show him some love. <laughs> Show him... A, a rake over his head. Why show him love? He wouldn't recognize it if it appeared. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. A little harsh there, Caddy. Did, did you like my closing joke? Yeah, I heard about, you know, when I was a kid, Shelly Sunstein used to tell this joke uh, on WPLJ in the morning. And me and my friend would tell each other the joke. And that was one of the jokes that I heard when I was like 15 in high school on WPLJ. Uh, 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 a cunning runt. Really? Yes. So it brought back some fun memories for you, Jimmy. Yes. What you're saying. Exactly. Yeah, but couldn't say running cunt. Oh, is that it? Oh. I didn't know what? there was a reverse there. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go to yeah, Dan. What's the, yeah, what's the difference between a clever midget and a girl with a venereal disease? Wait. What? Well, oh, what? now I get it. We get oh. it. We get it. A clever midget uh, is a smart little fella? Yeah, one's a cunning one. The other one has a running cunt. No, the other one is, not oh, has. Thank you, right. Captain Obvious. Uh, Dan in Vermont. Yeah, dude, I'll bring the jack and see if I can look him up that radio. Uh, is he doing a bit? Dan. Uh, Dan. He must have been hold for a while. Yeah. He's gone, no, he's, like, trying to smash a radio live on the show or something. And it's failing miserably. Dan. Dan. Have a good Christmas, dude. Who is he talking to? Dan, who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, please kill yourself. I was on the say, air. you're gonna hear a gunshot. In a second. <laughs> that would rock. Dan, boom. This is not Dantastic. <laughs> we won't be ignored, Dan. Yeah, bro, this is pretty cool, man. You can, like, take a picture, dude, and then fucking just print the picture out in, like, two seconds. What a dope. He has no idea he's on, or yeah. is this a bit? Sorry no, it's not a bit. Is. He's. It, it, it's too awful to be a bit, even from a, a, a bad listener. Dan, last chance? Yeah, you don't even need a computer, dude. You just plug the cord from the camera to the printer, and oh. take a picture, like... This is, like, behind-the-scenes Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kenny, anything else uh, you want to say? I want to wish all the people a happy new year. 
All right. You, See, want, you want to say goodbye love. to Canada, or uh, or should we do that? Uh, yeah. Uh, just a little country. What happened? They're not, they're not going with the program? They are. Would you like to say goodbye to Canada, or should we do it? Up to your act, I think we were fine. I think we were just fine. All right, Ken. What? You can't blame me for their country. All right. Good. Goodbye. Thank you. And I'll I'll, I'll talk to you about our New Year's plan in right. Philly at the Tower Theater with okay. Jim Norton. Yes, we're all going down there. So. <laughs> All right, Make Kenny. Sure gets the tickets. All right, thanks, Carl. Bye, Doll. Have a nice day anyway. All right. All right, bye. 90% of that was a really good bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, he is just... That is beyond anything I... And like they that, were enjoying him up to that point. They were actually enjoying him, and then he was like, they're like, ugh. Yeah. I think when he did his so-called rape joke, when he just described a rape. Yeah, rather yeah. Rather than having, like, some sort of punchline. Any kind of punchline or humor to it or irony or anything, but just a description of a horror. Rape's a tough one to sell in comedy, but it can be if you do it right, if you sell it right, if the joke is good. But, like, when you just describe it and then go, <clears> ahem. <throat> At the end. Yeah. <laughs> not quite it. <laughs> what a twisted... Your tag is, so that's what i do. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's really good. Twisted fuck he is, man.